Big Questions with the Dead Milkman. Each week while working on the new album, the Dead Milkman ask each other a question. So this week's question comes from a comment uh, by... <clears throat> It was Chile 1000, but he's since changed it to Nebula. You know, that'll happen when you go through Ellis Island. Yes. <laughs> His question was, uh, if you could go back in time and bring anything from today with you, uh, what would it be? <clears throat> I guess, and why, too? Yeah. I, sorry. Okay, you, you go yeah, first. Your question, you question. start. So I was thinking, make a playlist of a ton of songs, put it on an MP3 player, get some headphones, and go back to the beginning of uh, human time, you know, caveman, and uh, give it to them. Give it to them, and you know, without any, they don't have electricity. They won't be able to charge it again. But um, they only have. However long done. that lasts, to listen to that music and digest it, absorb it, and then see if, you know, see how that changes everything. And if it's crappy alt rock, they're going to kill you. Here's some black keys. Ah! I, was de oh, I was debating whether we should get all the garbage out of the way in the beginning of time, you know, send them all the crap now. So they're like, crap. Oh, then, yeah. Would it be a mix of all kinds of music? What's that? Would it be a mix of all kind, all genres of music? I thought about that too, because part of what I was thinking about was that one, um, was it a Voyager or something? That yeah, Voyager had a whole plate. Yeah. Do with sending out the record with the yeah, it's like it's like a reverse time capsule. Yeah, yeah, it had Carl Sagan's brainwaves on it because he was part of that project, so they needed brainwaves, so they used his. Yeah, and, and then they, they devised some weird, like, code that they said would be, like... Yeah, but it's useless anyway. It's pitted and pretty much destroyed at this point. So, sorry for anybody who thought that was going to make it. But so, you, so you think Space Dust hit it and, yeah. and ruined it? Excuse me? Space Dust hit it and ruined it? Space Dust, like, pitted it? Oh, I thought you said Space Dust. Yeah, code. yeah, it was a lot of micro meteors mm -hmm. pitted it, and, yeah, it's, it's got, yeah, it, there, it's, it's pretty unlike there's too much left of the, uh, the disc at this point. Mm -hmm. It's kind of sad. I, that's a cool idea, music player. Yeah, I mean, I thought it, you know, it's interesting to think about what would happen, the fact that they could only listen to it for, you know, however long the battery would last. <laughs> so they, they'd be exposed to music of something they probably didn't know, and also language, which they wouldn't know. Yeah, and because I was thinking about how things have evolved over time and, and how, you know, music started out with just rhythm and then eventually they started plucking things that made string, you know, sounds. And I was thinking how amazing would music be now if you got, you know, they did that back then. If they were able to like... Like they were jump started. Yeah. Okay, don't put them in alphabetical order. And this is why. G.G. Allen would come before Beethoven. <laughs> oh, you know, right. like, yeah, I'm just saying. Like, you know what? The first, the first track is crucial. Whatever the first track on that playlist is, is going to be, that's the first thing that, you know, uh, you yeah. will ever hear. The angel spit. That sounds like a whole other question. <laughs> it does. Huh. Like, what would your playlist be if you could go back in time <laughs> to influence the past? That's cool. So, yeah. Uh, who who goes next then? Joe maybe. Joe goes next. I thought I went next. So I oh, you can go next. Go yeah, next. You're the next question. You, you yeah, okay, I totally me. misunderstood the question, which which is rare for me. But I've had a rough week. Uh, and also, by the way, we have suspended our rules that we established during the time travel. Episode. I was gonna, yeah, right? yeah. Go back and <laughs> yeah, we we, we went, we're gonna do yeah, it. We went, and we're not going through that again because I have heard. I'm not joking. I've heard from no less than a dozen theoretical physicists. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, I'm going to get beat up by theoretical physicists. Um, the, uh, um, I would say uh, I misunderstood it. And I thought if you could go back and get one object and then bring it to the present. And what I would get would be the original gristleizer uh, that Chris Carter built for Throbbing Gristle. Uh, I found out a few years ago that all the gristleizers had died 
and they, they were no more. And I just thought that would just look so cool. And I was like, well, I, would, I could end any argument with it. Like, well, what makes you think you're right? Gristleizer. So I, that's, that's what I would want to get from the past. If I could take anything, uh, I have, now I have to think quickly. If I could take anything back to the past, I'm just going, I would take this Babadook. Um, <laughs> because then people could worship it. And then, like, years later, you would go in and you would see, like, you know, like, the Babadook people, people palling to it and, and, and praying to it. So, yeah, I, I would say uh, I would take – and then when they made the movie, people would go, wait a minute, that already exists. So, thank God I have Vienna's Babadook propped up back here. You're in charge? You're babysitting it? No, no, I propped it up because I knew I, – I, I, I thought – there's a bunch of bottles behind me. Uh, I have uh, – you can see Catherine of Aragon. That's how we tell when our dishes are clean or dirty. We used to have a Anne Boleyn who Vienna hates, which threw a full bottle of uh, a glass of wine at Anne Boleyn or something one night. And so that's how we knew the dishes were dirty. And now we just have Catherine of Aragon and we just turn her around when we, all right, I went, I went way too long. I would take the Babadook to Catherine of Aragon. There you go. Case closed. And we would go to Crystalizer. Thank you. Next. All right, Joe, you want to go next? I, I would take the novel coronavirus back to the past and then it wouldn't be novel anymore for now so we would probably already have dealt with it and we'd be okay but i was thinking about this dealt with it just just by going to the past i would probably inadvertently take back my microbes and viruses that they wouldn't be able to deal with anyway so they're probably screwed just like the, uh, the old explorers brought smallpox yeah, just like, exactly, like smallpox came to the Indians. Yeah, again, like, yeah, but I couldn't get smallpox because my ancestors were filthy people who shared a room with farm animals, <laughs> and it actually paid off. It paid off, and I'm immune to so much. And then people <laughs> from, like, real cultures, you know, like, like you know, and they're like, uh, um, you know, if, if your ancestors were Romans or from India or whatever, you're going to get sick because those people showered, they have plumbing. But I me, feel like all the bathrooms of, like, part of your... punk clubs that we've played and stuff. Like, yeah, that's all, yeah. <clears throat> you know, oh yeah, <laughs> you're immune. So, so what Joe is saying is Joe, something something dirt. It brings us back to Gigi Allen. <laughs> yeah, it might wipe out a lot of people back then, but it'll be better for us now. You're a horrible person. What yeah, if it wiped out everybody though? Everybody. Then we wouldn't be here, I guess. But we can't go back in time, so it's a yeah. We establish that. I, I asked uh, asked my wife Melissa, and she said that she would take the um, what do you call them? not the antid what do they call they, they 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 create a from the virus they create a vaccine. Oh, you know I would take the vaccine for coronavirus. There you go. Eighteen months in the past or whatever. <laughs> oh, oh, so we can actually pick. That's right. We can pick the time we go back to too. Yeah, you could. I, I, I am. I'm you gonna, go, Joe, you could go back least. like five minutes ago and change your answer now. I would like to do that, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, the judges? I think we'd all like that. I think we'd all <laughs> Just change my answer. Now. Would we be stuck back in time, though? Or? Um, yeah, that's a weird thing. I, I mean, it, it was a very interesting, nuanced question. You if know, we're stuck um, back in time, I would empty my bank account out and take all my money back to the depression era and then I would quit my job, I'd retire because I'd have so much money, I'd be like a, a billionaire in their terms. Yeah, but all the money has the uh, the, the dates on like the year on it. They'll be like, this is fake. You, you know, oh, right. Be, weird. I'd have to, I'd have to get old money from a collector. Well, well, Joe, your, your, your money's not, not in the bank. Well, it, well it's in Dan's house. <laughs> <laughs> Right, it's right back there. Uh, <laughs> Dan, you owe me that money. We're there. I, there's a dollar in each book as a bookmark. <laughs> can I, I don't usually do this, but can I take a moment just to plug a project that I'm doing? Sure. Okay. Uh, just Intermission. Intermission. Uh, yeah, I don't normally plug my stuff, but I just a little acting that I just did. Um, the film is called Pretty Woman, and I play a prostitute. <sighs> he meets a very wealthy man, and you don't think it's going to work. Yeah, but I don't want to give anything away. But yeah, it's pretty woman. Look, look for it in theater. So. <laughs> All right. Is it my turn? Oh, yeah. All right. I'm well, going to mix it up a little bit. Virus. I actually have two, two answers, if I'm allowed to give two answers. One 
if I was to take something back that would in, you know, disregarding the laws of time travel that we already talked about, if I was able to take something back from now to the past that would affect everything worldwide, I had the idea of taking um, the current high-tech uh, photovoltaic solar cell technology, the most cutting edge technology for solar cells that we have. <clears throat> and going back to the uh, early to mid 1800s before oil was discovered in Pennsylvania and therefore introduced the concept of solar power with well, solar power has been sort of around for a long line before that, but taking our fancy technology back then, kickstarting the energy uh, of the sun as opposed to the oil uh, petroleum industry that got started in, in, I think it was like 1850. Yeah, 18, early 1850s. Yeah, or, here, yeah. Here, in, here, in, here in Pennsylvania, actually. Um, so that that would be my sort of global uh, global effect thing to take back in time. So know that the Egyptians learning. already had those solar cells. If you watch the History Channel at 3 a.m., there's always some guy with an incredible haircut going, but then aliens gave them the solar cells. <laughs> in search of. Maybe the aliens were people from the future like us. Maybe. Um, and then the other, if I was to just like take an object that I have back in time, um, I would guess I would go to back to like the early 50s and take my OP1 synthesizer. Invent crap work a decade <laughs> I went, last week I was trying to get the speakers behind me. I thought the sound I was making um, from the, the from my keytar would go through, but it didn't. So I had to go back and redub everything. Oh yeah, I caught your little yeah. trick there, young man. I'm clever that way. Yeah. <laughs> If I redub something, I make it purposely look like I. Don't. So I take synthesizer so. technology back to the early fifties, I guess before uh, Robert Moog. Would Delia Derbyshire still be alive in the early fifties? Yeah, she'd still be alive. Delia Derbyshire would still be alive in the early fifties, so you could you could show that to her. I mean, yeah. she, well, wasn't she wasn't she still working on things like Doctor Who in the sixties? You were working with Doctor, yeah. So she's working on stuff like Doctor Who in the sixties. I think she was with the BBC Radio Synthonic thing, whatever that's called. Workshop, yeah. Yeah, workshop. Then yeah, she would. Yeah, she would have been around. I'd like to show her that. So well, I guess you know you had Therm Thurman technology in the what the twenties or the thirties. Yeah. Sarah, what's her name? Do you ever see the documentary about the uh, woman, the woman who did the Thurman stuff? Thurmanist. Oh yeah. Yeah. And what it's called. Who theremin was kidnapped by Stalin, and he yeah. had that cool. I think it was just called theremin. What? I think it was called theremin. Okay. Yes. So anyway, th those are my answers. I would and take that door behind me with me, and anybody didn't like, I'm going to show you the door. You're not in. You're not in your studio tonight, Rodney. No, no, I came down to the kitchen because the studio has too much information behind me, and what happens is it actually causes the video to crinkle. No, for okay. real. The more, I believe it or not, there's actually less stuff in my kitchen than in Just my kitchen. Just got a nice purple background. Tonight. Crinkle. It's, it's the ceiling. I got? took Rodney's advice and got one of these stands. Oh, yeah. Cool. Oh, which so, kind? The kind the, uh, the, that you put the little easels? It's, it's not exactly like an easel. I don't know. It's this, if you can oh, see. Now, now, we've done it. Now, now it's suddenly turned into uh, oh, yeah. activity. <laughs> it's, it's going to ruin the video. Oh no, crinkle, crackle. Any other comments, happenings, things oh, going on? Plug. Do, uh, do, do you should, well, I guess this video will come out. This is out going to be in the minutes. future. Yeah. yeah. What's going to be? I missed that. What? Joe's got two uh, online streaming. Uh, but it's, events. it's, oh. It's in the, I, it'll be in the past. Yeah, it'll be. Uh, well, one, of them, one of them would be in the future. Which, well, tell us about it. This, uh, I think it's April 17th, Friday, on uh, living with this, dealing with, living with dystopias, Facebook page. They're having, they have shows every Friday and I'm on the fourth one, fourth one in the series. I'll be playing on that one. Cool. 
No, I was just going to tell people to watch Dispatches from Elsewhere, which is really good and takes place in Philadelphia. Uh, it's fantastic. And also um, Deadlands, which I just discovered on Shudder, which is incredible. It's a, it's a bunch of uh, Maori uh, people, obviously set in the past, and but it's like Maori with zombies. It's really good. So watch, watch that. Watch those two things. You need to binge more things, people. You need to watch more TV. I've been watching a British detective show set in 1964 in the North Country called George Gently. I've heard of it, but I heard it's really good, but I haven't seen it. This is like a low energy episode of the show. <laughs> well, it's later than normal. Past our bedtime. <laughs> Dan, can you recommend anything? <laughs> Shows? <laughs> You, you guys watching anything? Hmm? Are you guys watching anything? Who? Me? Yeah. No, uh, not really. <laughs> just, doing home, just doing homework with the kids. I, you know, it's funny. I, it's like because I'm still working full time. Um, and then I get home and my days that I'm not working, I'm helping the kids with the school stuff. Uh, and then I get home and it's like, helping the kids with school stuff, spending time with them, doing stuff, and then making dinner, and then cleaning up, and then getting into bed. It's, it's like, it's almost just kind of like, um, I almost feel busier, you know? <laughs> it's weird. Um, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have kids real soon. Tomorrow by 3.30. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've been going full tilt. I'm like busy, busy, busy. I Yeah. So it's like, it's like one thing, chung, 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 so which is good. I, I, I was helping a friend out who's sort of doing the same and he said it's keeping him sane. He's doing a, he'll be doing a, a broadcast thing. And I said, well, here's how, when I did the thing, I did it this way. And he's like, oh, it's low tech, but it works. And yeah. So it's just, uh, um, yeah, I just, if, I'm afraid if I stop, then I'll, I'll kind of lose it though. So. Yeah. The, the kids have been doing some YouTube videos, which is really cool. Uh, uh, Junius and Charlie do like stop motion stuff with these perler beads or these little, little beads they're hollow and you put them on this thing and when you iron it it flattens them they all melt together and it makes this shape and they made the super mario characters and they taped them on the wall and they just kept frame by frame it took them like five or six hours um oh and edgar does uh edgar is nebula the, the question for today was from edgar um, but he was posting like you know it, it kind of young teen angst kind of quarantine thing. He's probably watching this, <laughs> watching this now. So. Go to bed. <laughs> yeah, <I'm back> <laughs> Go to bed. <laughs> so, how's Wagon Town, Joe? Uh, it's pretty chill here, I don't know. I know, I, I've been going for walks almost every day and I noticed there are way more people out walking than there ever were when I would come visit and go for walks. But I, that's to be sort of under, expected with, you know, people are, are there, uh, sort of confined uh, to the area, huh? Are there cows across the street in the field? No, those, those cows have been gone for a long time. You have a view? There, there aren't have, even, fen their fences are gone. There's no more fences. But you do have a view of the field. Yeah. So in case the aliens show up again. I, ex I keep looking out the window and expecting to see them, but they're not there. It's a beautiful moon. I guess last night and tonight. Yeah. Oh, you want to see a beautiful moon. <laughs> <laughs> I think Wagon Town looks a lot like, like, like Prince's house. It looks like it's kind is of Victor, purple. Is Victor still working, Dean, or is he? Hey, what's that? Is Victor still working? He still works uh, one or two, two days a week. Yeah. Because I guess that's essential, his job. No, anyway. it's a little like convenience store, grocery store. Yeah. So he's he's been our inside connection on toilet paper. He's what? Our inside connection on toilet paper. Ah. <laughs> Good to have. <laughs> Very low key episode tonight. We need to pick it up. <laughs> yeah. I have to add. You'll have to add a lot more graphics and pizzazz and. and yeah, paint. I'm gonna. Yeah, I think I was hoping somebody would do those hack things, and all of a sudden there would be a large penis. In you can put, get some stock video stuff and you get some Max Hedrum stuff and put it in there. <laughs> well, I, gotta be, I hate to say it because normally I, I, I flaunt the law, but I have to be very careful. So that's why I, I subscribe to what, what you see is 
uh, public domain stock footage, I subscribe to a company that supplies me with that. So it arrives in a big box that travels <laughs> back in time. <laughs> Uh, yeah. All right. Well, let's see who's next. I'm next, but I'm I'm so busy filming this Pretty Woman movie <laughs> that uh, I mean, my God, you know, it's just oh God, yeah. I mean, I don't. I just like is Eric Roberts in that too? Fifteen years. What? Eric Roberts is in that, right? No, Julia Roberts. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Eric Roberts is good. I don't know if he's that good. Are they related? <laughs> It's, Eric, it's Julia Roberts and I think Elvis Costello. I think that's, <laughs> I think that's, that's the cast of Pretty Woman and Johan, the backwards walking goose. I'm all together at last on the screen. And uh, I don't so much have a trailer as a tent. And uh, um, I took this, this, is, this was in craft services today. That was it. We all got an apple. Pretty exciting. Are you doing any more um, like live DJ sets? I'm, I'm super busy with other stuff. I want to go. I, 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 I just uh, basically somebody asked me to do something today for a kid's thing. I don't know what I can talk about it. And I, I managed while working at work to write a song and then film it. This is all I did before I got here. Film it and then edit it and then run down here and do this. That is the pace I'm moving at these days. So for some reason, I am now busier than I was before all this. It makes no sense. Pity me. All and, right, the, well, and the pretty woman movie. Yeah. Um, okay, well you're next. You'll 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 tell us the question. And people will wait eagerly to hear what it is. I wanted to make the question, who are these people? <laughs> because like, we at this point, I'm uh, so annoyed with so many people. It's just uh, uh, uh. We so I, I thought that would be good. like we we'll we'll take twenty minutes and we'll answer like Please, just then, yeah, maybe we'll do that. Maybe, yeah, maybe next one. Who? Because I've got like a dozen different people I can bet on at this point, and that's not even going into the people. With, you guys switch places. What the hell? <laughs> Joe went to a picture of himself and then back to the video. Oh, I was trying to slide it. I was trying to slide it back to the you were trying to where Irish you see who's talking in the big picture. You, no, you're violating the laws of physics. You're trying to set it so you can only look at yourself the whole time. This, right. What in the middle set setting? On my phone, anyway, you know, you get, I see Rodney now, only Rodney. I don't know why. This is why we won't allow you on the set of Pretty Woman. This is why you've been banned from the set of Pretty Woman. That and the alpaca. You should have never oh, okay. the alpaca. Sorry about that. It was in here. good taste. I understand what you're saying. You know, this is in good taste. It's, it's a love scene with an alpaca. And it was. It was beautiful. Well, we're going to cut it. We're, it's not going to make the final cut. Maybe that will be next week. Who are these people? <laughs> All right. Well, uh, until next week, I hope everybody has a good week. In the comments Thank section, let's answer that question. Who are these people? These people. All right. See you guys. All right. Bye. See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.